Thank you for joining me in World of Warships Legend. This is Crazy Man 69. Tonight we're not going to have a game. It's going to be another discussion. It's the discussion about crate openings and are they worth the money. That's one subject. Another subject we're going to talk about why people are not playing this game. But first let's get to the crates. I had one guy, um, that's two people. One of them I cleared up. One left a really n nasty comment to me about two, three weeks ago when I did uh, 33 uh, arcane infused crates. Um, he said it was a waste of money and and all they want is your money, world, uh, world ward gaming. You don't get nothing out of them, blah, blah, blah. And that's why nobody's playing this game. Wrong. For one, I buy the crates. You get a lot of things out of crates. Yes, there's times you don't get premium ships. But you got to have an open mind. I know when I buy those crates, there's a good chance I'm not going to get a premium ship. I'm not worried about it. I just do it for fun, for one. Two, because I can. Three, the people enjoy these videos. Okay? And they get to see if it's worth it to them. Now, what I mean, is it worth it? To me, it is. And I'm going to go over some of the things. Uh, for example, if you look up here, all those were from crate. 830 from crate openings. That's two years, almost $200, if not more, worth. Yeah, it's on sale right now for 50% off, but you... That's two hundred dollars worth when it's not, if not more, for that many days. That's two year over two years worth. Uh, another thing is global. I'm over two million. I say a good four, maybe five hundred thousand of that became came from crates. And I probably got at least a million of them or a couple million from crates. And uh, that's not all. Yeah, so those, the premium, it's a good value. Those you need it because for one, you can level up your ships like the new tier eights that are coming uh, next update, which is next Monday, which are the British and the French. Um, plus, the store you know global you could buy premium ships there so that does come in handy another one let's go to commanders commander experience you get a lot of it during the gameplay but sometimes you get it in the crates uh promotion orders you do get those in the crates uh insignias and combinations you do get in crates and i got most of those from the crates these will help your captain bill. Now, the one guy who sent me a message yesterday, I actually, I pointed out to him, and he actually agrees. And I actually, I got to agree with him, too, because you really think about it, it's almost hard to get insignias or combinations anymore. Unless it's through crates, the campaign, or the bureau. There's a Sigma there. That was combination right there. So, in reality, it's worth getting the crates to me. Now, the bonus is you get the premium ship. I know I opened up 33 of those Art Halloween special crates, and the Oak Royal was involved in I didn't get it. It did break my heart. Because I have a mind setting outside the box. I wasn't going for it. Now, if I get it, I'm lucky. 
You know, I know a lot of people who made comments, they got it. Uh, very proud of them. I'm, I'm glad they got it, you know. And I hope they enjoy the ship. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you do crates, you spend the money, you got to be prepared knowing that you might not get that. Um, premium ship but to me it doesn't bother me either I get it or I don't so for me the best in the crates it's worth it for one I'm getting what I need for my captains uh, premium days global currency uh, boosters which God knows we need boosters which you see here a lot of these boosters came from crates and campaign and your your daily missions which I haven't done today and yeah I would have more but I do this merge them but like I said it it's your choice if you ever want to buy crates. I just do this because I get a lot out of it. And I enjoy it. And one, the viewers who watch this enjoy it. And that's why I keep doing it. And that other guy last night who sent me the message, for one, I do owe him an apology because I was a little drunk when I texted him back. Okay, I wasn't a little, I was quite a smashed. Um, but I wasn't ignorant. I was actually really nice to him because he was being nice on the conversation. And he seemed like a real nice guy. And anyways, I explained it to him. You know, I had to read do the message this morning because I really screwed up but I did tell him I was doing a video on this today you got to have your mindset differently you can't go in there thinking you're going to get a premium ship because if you think you're going to get it you don't you're going to be upset I look at it as a bonus great cool awesome i got a premium ship that's how i look at it if i don't i still get a lot of good stuff number two what else we're we gonna talk about oh yeah people are not playing this game as much this is what this one jerk texted me two three weeks ago he said, one, he said the crates are not worth the money. It is if you look at it that way, way I look at it. Um, the number two point is people are stopped playing this game because of the money. They want more money. Uh, no, maybe a little percentage, maybe, but not all of it. There's other games out there people want to play. Uh, like for me, example, uh, last week I bought the new Call of Duty. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. I haven't had time to play it. I work two jobs, and my fiance, she works in the mornings. I work at night, and when she's working, I take care of our ten-month-old daughter. So I don't really have time to do a lot of games right now. But I definitely want to play it. But I will still be working on my videos in my channel. Of World of Warships, unless you guys say, well, you know, hey, why don't you try Call of Duty? Then I might do that too. But that's a different day. So when someone is assuming that people are not playing is because of the money, you might want to rethink that. There's other games people want to play. And when they get an opportunity, oh, this game came out, they're going to take a break from World of Warships, go play that. Doesn't mean they're done with it, they're just flip-flopping back and forth everybody does it so don't assume that people are quite playing this game because of that all right and then one thing is 
when you spend money on this game, yes, it's a free game for one, but when you spend money, it helps them, for one, develop more things that put into this game, like tier eights, legendaries, and all that. That's not cheap. It costs money. And a lot of time to do it. So when you buy something, it helps them put more things in. Now, granted, I wish they fixed the server a lot better. I think everybody wishes that right now. Uh, but yeah, that's the reason why I buy, buy things too, because it helps develop, because it's not cheap. Uh, but like I said, I, when I do crates, it's because... I like doing it and people stop playing the games not because they hate the game because they're playing other games so if you're and if you're listening to some of the CC's out there and I can't give no names because that's I'm not a CC but some of them are really negative like some for example they want legendaries go into the store and buy it with global all right It'll cost you maybe 200 maybe $300, maybe, for $2 million global. So you're spending a lot of money anyways. Instead of doing the bureau, which I don't mind doing the bureau, because you get, like I said, there's things you can get out of the bureau, like uh, the insignias, combination, then at the end, you get this which I am working on both of them. Midway's almost done. And they want us not to get anything. So some of the CCs are against the Bureau, but they don't comprehend everything. There's only two CCs I really enjoy watching. Uh, PG Rapid and T-Bowl. Uh, they're the only ones that are not really negative about anything. You know, now PG Rapid says uh, he doesn't talk about the money you spend on the game, but he talks about is this a good ship or stuff? You know, he gives his opinion. And 90% of the time, I listen to him. I mean, let's just face it, he, he's a beast in the game. He'll smash you if he sues you. I mean, he's good. I'm a New Yorker player. Uh, but there's others that are no longer CCs. Uh, another thing is, I want to bring up really quick, them wanting to nerf everything in the game. One former CC, this game stopped being fun. Well, but yeah, he turned around and made a comment and they should nerf the Matt Masashi. They already nerfed the shit right out of the uh, Yamato. You're lucky you can get a good game with that. Uh, most time, not too many people are getting good games with it because they did nerf it, a lot of it. Uh, but yeah, the, nobody thinks about the fire spammers across the map, hide behind the islands, shooting you. They don't think about that. But yeah, that's a different subject. We're not going to talk about that right now. I just wanted to talk about reason why people ain't playing and the crates opening. I know it's not the best video. Uh, I hope you guys listen to this. Uh, I mean, like this video, get something out of this video and stuff like that and understand why I do it. Mully, basically I do it for the views. And plus, I really, really, really like it. I, I, I like doing crates. It's kind of a fun time for me. But anyways, I think that's all. I think I hit both subjects. Um, the nerfing and all that stuff will be talking on a later date. So, I think that's it. Let me think. Yep, that's it. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Uh, smash the like button. Uh, share this video. Leave comments down below if you have any more questions or something I might have missed. Feel free to ask. Um, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. 
which I do have. I just haven't put it up yet. But it will be coming after this video. Probably in a couple days. But anyways, have a good night and peace out. And see you the next time.